Hey there, Foxy Gamers. Welcome to Satisfactory Early Access. This is a fun game brought to you by the company who made Goat Simulator, which is actually very odd to me that they go from Goat Simulator to a game like this. But so far, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a 3D... Sa uh, not Satisfactory. Obviously, it's 3D Satisfactory. A 3D Factorio, rather. And... It has some elements of No Man's Sky as well in the um, relation that, like, the the world kind of looks a little similar and the survival aspects, that sort of thing. Although, I don't, I don't really even know if I'd call it that much of a survival game because you don't have, like, hunger or anything like that. Um, you do take damage from enemies... And you have to heal from that, but that's about it. It's mostly just like a 3D Factorio, I would say. Um, yeah. Anyway, this game is still in development. As you can see, it has a, a an intro that reminds me a lot of Subnautica. So, not exactly the most original intro that we've ever seen. Neither was Subnautica really, but you know, it's like that's just a recent game that we saw. I guess I'll let her talk for now. Have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results. And this animation kind of reminds me a little bit of the Make sure to report any fallout discoveries to our hit boy for analysis. <laughs> Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. I guess the difference between this and well, one difference between That's this it. and Subnautica is and be we didn't like crash land. We intentionally Warning, land on this planet. Imminent. Please to, remain seated during full procedure. I guess take it over for ourselves. Five, four, three, two, so far, there one. isn't any story whatsoever to this game. I'm not sure if that's something that they're planning on adding or not. Um, I do enjoy stories to an extent, like Subnautica is kind of fun, but I'm sure a lot of you who have seen my other content know that, like, I. I'm not super concerned about story in the games. That's not the most important aspect to me, but I'm definitely very big on the whole start from nothing, build into something type of games, which is why so far this one intrigues me. Exploration suit is at 100%. Well, their animations have Remember improved since the last time I played this game, Gun which was like speed. right when the early access first came out. I don't remember all of this stuff being here with the hands, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, our little cinematic is over now. And we... Welcome to Planet Massage oh, okay. A, B, B. I'll, I'll let her talk. I know most of the stuff she's going to say, but just Akita. so you guys can see it. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Aida. Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Note, objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. And like many First games of this matter, dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed gathering to trees. A habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the, the hub. hub. Note: Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. There we, we do are. not waste. That's good. At least we don't waste. Initial scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Second objective, please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Hmm. 
I Note, according to didn't do that. Regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense right, against extraterrestrial threats. Huzzah! I've got a taser. That seems Third like it's going to protect Please me a lot. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future Indeed. objectives. They're not super close to us, are they? 391 meters, 470 meters. Okay, let's see what we have. We'll pick up some leaves along the way here. Now this game does have music, but I turned it off the last time I played. Let's see if they've improved their audio. Because before it was like popping when I played this. And so it was super annoying and I had to turn it off. And I listened to my own music. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. All right, some berries here. That will this restore minor healing our health Further just a little bit. Should we run into some trouble? Scanner identification. I already forgot where my Aaron is. Two sixty. Oh, I might feel like I should have started in the easier zone. There are three different starting locations in this game. Um, but they're all technically the same planet. So you can eventually go to... All oh, shit. Okay, here's our first guy we gotta tase. Ow! These things are super annoying, too. They just, like, circle us! Oh! That was quick. Better this than Studying I thought. The remains of this creature might shed oh, this light is on copper. Yourself in the future. I'm trying to find iron, I right? Analysis. Okay, over here. Uh, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, we can basically go to all the other starting points if we decided that we didn't like this spot, but it's more pretty here. It's not like as open and flat. It's not as easy to build stuff but I thought it might be a little more interesting if we went this route. Now, where'd it go? It said I'm... Oh, here we are. Oh, good. The iron ore is pure, which is exactly what we're hoping for, because if we get one that's not pure, we're only going to pick up one iron ore at a time. See how it said plus three Build iron ore? Build the hub. We would only be getting no. one of these the if it the or like either one or two depending on what the types of iron Caution. spots are. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close okay. to the presence of iron sources. Yes. Failure is there another so iron source nearby? In non -optimal progress. Over here. Oh weird. Okay. There's oh hey buddy. There's another dog thing. We're gonna take him out. Yeah! Ha ha! Come back here! Ah! Ow! Ow! Not cool, man! Okay, we still got plenty of health for now, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's see, our copper ore was like over this way, and we're gonna need some of that at some point too. So we're gonna maybe put our base... What is this? Is this also copper? No, that's iron. Okay, cool. Oh, hi, buddy. That has a very, very tiny head. I hope he's not aggressive. Uh, all right, we don't want to be like really close to our mineral sources because we need to put like smelters and stuff. So, I'm gonna maybe put our base here. Now, I can't remember. Um, let's see. How do I bring it back? The hub. There we go. Let's do like so. <laughs> Missing hub parts. Uh, Congratulations. Oh, wait. Okay. You have unlocked. Hub Yay. feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub Oh god! Terminal. Hello! Alright. 
you're just gonna storage and power. You're just gonna do your thing. I mean, Note, I can't blame you. I just like terminal are essential for got all up in your business, so that's only fair. All right. Well, thank you for not smashing my hub, sir, or ma'am. Not sure what you are. Upgrade the hub by using the hub terminal. That's not the terminal. This is the terminal. Okay. So to upgrade the hub. We gotta select this milestone, and we need 10 iron rods. Now, I can't remember, can we make anything at all right now? No. Wait, let's see, craft parts at the craft bench. Yes. There we go, we can turn our iron ore that we gathered into the ingots. And then... Turn them into the iron rods, like so. There doesn't seem to be any pausing in this game, but it also doesn't seem like time really matters, so we just kind of do whatever we want, take our time, there's no punishment for that. It's pretty relaxing for the most part, aside from the occasional encounter with our little dog friends, our Congratulations. carapace Hub dog friends. Alright, that's just our storage. little storage bins bench. Copper. I'm gonna drop New equipment off. buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench can respectively. I, I feel like there's a hotkey for me Six to objective. there we go. Hub upgrade construction. Oh, double Note. click. Okay, Connect there we go. Buildings to a double click those to drop the whole lot Note. in there. Buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Craft bench is what we have here, correct? Yes. So we want to build an equipment workshop. We need six iron plates still. So we need to go back to our iron spot. I don't know if the other one is pure, but this one is. So we'll go back here. And then once we upgrade our, or build a workshop, then we can uh, get, like, these portable smelters so that we don't have to stand here and do this. Kind of like in Factorio, where at first you have your little pit thing that you have to use before you, like, have your miners and everything like that. Alright, that should be enough for now. We'll go ahead and turn those into iron plates. So you can press and hold this craft button, and eventually it looks like it starts to overheat. But it doesn't seem to actually do anything. I guess it's just for looks for now. I don't know if that's something they're gonna change in the future, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. Okay, let's see if we can do our equipment workshop. Yes, we have enough things now. Let's see, where do I want to put it? Um... Will it go here? No, there's plants in the way. So let's put it... Oh! I don't want to put it in the middle here because stuff's gonna happen there later. So let's... Let's see, we can turn it around. Hold left control to snap the guideline. It doesn't seem like we actually have any guidelines right now. I suppose our hub doesn't count as something to line it up with, which is weird. But we'll just do that so it's easy for us to get on there. Now we can make ourselves a portable miner. But we're going to need some copper, which I'm not sure... Oh good, we can scan for copper right now. I'm gonna go back and get more iron. I'm just gonna make sure to get a whole bunch this time. And then we'll also run over to the copper and manually gather some of that. Alright, we got ourselves plenty of copper for now. We need some wires. And some cables from our iron ingots. I'm gonna put a portable miner on... One on iron, one on copper for now. Oops. I thought I made... Did I seriously not make more than 
One wire? What? Oh! Wait, what did I do? Oh, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. I, I turn. I forgot that we need copper for the cables as well, so I just used all of my wire for the cables. Whoopsies. Oh well, we got plenty of copper. I made sure to pick up as much as I could for now. We'll craft one. And need some more iron plates. Actually, we're going to go ahead and craft three of these for now. Because I want to put two on the iron. Because we're going to need lots and lots of iron. Eventually we'll be able to uh, have electricity and it will automatically mine for us but that's gonna be just a minute before we get that happening all right i ended up making four because why not we will use them eventually for our big miners anyway they are a reagent for that so it'll work out in the end and as you can tell i'm just kind of gathering oh is this the spot where i went to before for the copper i'm kind of gathering some bio stuff like just sort of as I run along because we're gonna be needing that later too and since it doesn't really take any time it's good to pick that up whenever you can all right so we need to equip our portable miner and drop it let's see oh right we're like waiting for the animation to play can we can we drop you there we go so now, as you can see, this cute little little robot miner guy is going to gather some copper for us. It does max out at 100, though. So that's why we want to have a few going at a time. Not only just for the speed, but for the storage. All right, I'll take all those, and then we'll go place a couple others on the iron. I think I'm going to place all three of these on the iron for now because we're going to be needing lots and lots. Oh, was this a copper spot too? Oh, this is limestone. Okay, cool. Not enough space. Oh, wow. We have a full inventory already. Okay. Alrighty. There's that one. I don't think there's any maximum amount of these that you can put on here, but... They're obviously not going to be the most effective ways to mine. Also, you can't hook up any conveyor belts or anything to them. So they're definitely very good for starting off, but not a long-term solution. Okay, so we need to... We did the first three steps. We need to build a smelter to automate production of ingots. All right, the smelter... Oh, God. Let's see what it requires. Five iron rods and some wire. Okay. We'll just go ahead, grab all that, grab all that, and all that. And that should be good enough for us for now. At least until we get this hub upgrade. And as you can imagine, eventually we're going to be able to automate all of this production stuff, but it does take quite a bit of time to ramp this up in the beginning, which I personally like. I think they could do with a little bit more balancing on this, because I do find that I'm manually crafting stuff a lot more than I am in something like Factorio, but, you know, game is still in early access. They're definitely working on it pretty well, so I'm, I'm pleased with the progress that they're making. All right, so that should be enough for our smelter. And we're going to have to power it via our biomass thing here. Um, which means we need to be able to make power lines. Do we have the necessary equipment for this? We need concrete. I don't think the game is allowing us to look for stone yet is it oh because it wants us to just connect with the cable all right we can move our smelter later so i'm just gonna drop it here just so that we can unlock our limestone creation 
So yeah, this doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal for us to move it. We're just gonna plop that there for now so that we can get this milestone complete. All right, so now, oops, we need to turn all this grass and stuff that we got into biomass, except we can't because we're not there yet. So we're just gonna have to throw the grass in there itself. It'll be less effective, but it still works. And then, let's see here, we'll turn this to iron ingots, drop our iron ore in there, and huzzah. Oh, okay. I guess we don't actually have to do all those milestones, we just need to be able to upgrade our hub. So we need 10 iron plates, 10 iron rods, and 50 wire. I will go ahead and create all the wire by hand. I'm just gonna create most of this stuff by hand and we'll plug that in. All right, we've got all those made so we can drop these in here. Let's see, iron rods and wire. There we go. And our hub has been upgraded. Look at that, we've got a little room in here now. Woo. Congratulations, you have unlocked cool. scanner stone. New building so eventually we'll be able to research some stuff once we get another building. hub upgrade there. Let's check out... Now we can make concrete and actual belts. biomass and we can scan for Note. limestone. We already Use found some limestone, but it'll still be useful. Screws, constructor, power pole... Note. The constructors are capable of yeah, like she says, parts, of which only one type at a time. The constructors will help us to not have to manually create our items. They are much slower than manually making stuff, kind of like in Factorio, but the point is that it can be automated and you can have multiple constructors making different things at the same time, um, freeing us up to do some other things. All right, so our next hub upgrade, we're gonna need some concrete, a reinforced iron plate, and more of the basic stuff. So yeah, did we not get a bag upgrade yet? Yeah, okay, we have to do these milestones before we can unlock any of this other stuff. And then we have a bit of a choice of what we wanna do next, but for now, we have to do all these basic things first. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that is going to do it for this episode. We've had a nice little introduction to Satisfactory and what the game entails, but there's a lot more that it has to offer. So, I look forward to playing this game some more on my channel, as long as you guys want to see it. So, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of this, or if this just isn't really your cup of tea. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and until next time, stay foxy.